Hi, welcome to Rose Opal Knits, our knitting and other craft podcast. This is episode 30 and I'm Daphne. And I'm Erica. And I'm her mother-in-law and she's my daughter-in-law. And we are located in Delaware, USA. So like Daphne said, this is episode 30. It feels like a milestone. <laughs> Not really, but turning 30 is like a thing. Is it? I mean, I don't know. Well, I mean, they did make the whole movie 13 going on 30. Oh, yeah, I guess so. Yeah, yeah. (laughs) So, I get, was it last time? No, two episodes ago, we celebrated our one year anniversary. So, we've been doing this for a while. And if you've been watching us and commenting and joining the knit alongs, we appreciate you so much. And if you're new here, we hope you stick around, you like what you see, and you can um, consider subscribing and liking and leaving us a comment, introducing yourself. We love to um, chat with um, you guys. So we, I was going to say, don't have any finished objects, but actually I do. Yeah. So, um, oh, we talked about this last episode. Today is Saturday. The 27th of February. Yes, February 27th. Of course, this will go, this will be made available on Monday. Which Which is the first. mm Mm-hmm. Of March. Yeah. So 2021 feels like it's flying. To me anyway. I don't know if it feels that way for everyone. But we'll go right into finished objects. These have been worn. Um, my, as soon as I finished them, my son Thomas took them and he's been wearing them to bed every night. But he doesn't walk around the house in them. He was told not to. <laughs> Until the podcast was over. So these are... Um, knit out of Regia 6x, which is the DK weight, and they were knit on a U.S. size 3. I forget the millimeter size. And um, I cast it on 56 stitches, knit a 2x2 brib, and I think it was for 14 rounds. And then they're just a vanilla sock. And he didn't want the leg too long, but he didn't want it too short either. I did a slip stitch um, heel flap and then turn and then, you know, of course the gusset stitches. And then just knit vanilla down the leg. And I did the umbrella toe, which is by Kay Jones of the Bakery Bears. Um, I believe she has an umbrella sock pattern now, which is like an umbrella toe and an umbrella heel. Which sounds pretty neat, um, but it she her umbrella toe is in a lot of her sock patterns. So that's it, two done. Now they can go back to him. <laughs> um, and I don't have the tag anymore for the Regia, but the color number will be in the description box below. So that's that. And now we are just going to move into works in progress. How many do you have? I have four knitting um, and one cross stitch. Okay. Do you want me to start or do you want to start then? Well, you, you have three knitting, right? Yeah, that's all. All right. Well, I'll start. Okay. And um, <laughs> I'll start with the socks. So after I... Oh, we went blurry. I don't think I've ever seen that happen. <laughs> I don't know why it's blurry. Um... There. <laughs> After I um, casted off my son Thomas's socks, I cast it on for my husband's socks. And they're a little bit of a mess now. So, here, can you hold that? Um, I caked the skein of yarn into two balls and then decided to knit them single. So here is the ball band for this pair. Oh, I don't want my fingers covering up that. So they are Regia Cruise Color. It's the six ply, it's the DK weight. And these are color number 06201. And this is what the yarn looks like in a cake, just blues and grays. So I casted them on the same way, US 3, 56 stitches. But for his, um, I decided to do a two by two rib for about 14 rounds. And then for him, I am knitting. It looks like three by one. It's not. 
Is it not? Uh-uh. I swore it was. No, it's not. And I, oh, I wrote it down. Um, that little notepad right there on that table. Sorry. <laughs> um, oh, I knit two by two rib for 12 rounds, not 14. And the um, it's, well, the way I figured out the pattern is purl one, knit five, purl one, repeat. So it ends up looking like a knit five, purl two. But that's just, I just um, wrote it that way so the pearls would be centered on these sides when I did the slip stitch heel. And I've done the turn already. Throw that on the floor. <laughs> I've done, but I haven't picked up uh, for the gusset stitches yet. So that's where I am. And this project is being um, stored in my Doctor Who. Oh, I forget. Mountain State Stitches bag. I've had this one for years. And since I got to the part where I needed to pick up stitches, um, and I just set, kind of set it aside. Look, we're blurry again. I don't know what's going on. I don't know why it keeps doing that. Maybe it's there we go. the weather. Maybe, it's yeah. It's kind of like cloudy out cloudy, today. Rainy yeah. kind of weather. So. Um, but so I wanted just like a simple um, pattern to knit. One night, actually it was last night, I was watching NCIS New Orleans, and <laughs> uh, I'm back, I'm like, not up to date yet, I think I'm like seven episodes away from the current one, Ooh. but I decided to cast on a new sock whip, because that's what I need, is a new sock whip, <laughs> but, um, so this is Willow Tree Yarn, Lollipop, yep, we've talked about this, we actually gave a skein away, um, and here it is. So I cast it on 64 stitches on a US one and a half, which I should tell you, I don't think I'm... 2.5 millimeters? Yes. Two po no. Is it all? The one and a half? Never mind. I'm knitting this on a US one. I was about to say. 2.25. <laughs> 2. <laughs> 2. I meant to cut. I meant to use the US one and a half. <laughs> one and a half is 2.5 yes. millimeters. Oh no. Is it going to be too small? No. It's not. Are you sure? Mm -hmm. Yeah, because oh, I knit my Reggie on US 1. I just usually knit the softer um, merino yarn on one and a half. I don't know why. I just. <laughs> it's just how I do things. <laughs> but anyway, it is a US 1, 2.25. Um, and I'm knit, knitting two by two rib. I think I'm only like six or seven rows in. I'm but so, so I'm going to knit the cuff in that color and I'm going to knit the body. This is Regia <laughs> and it's the Sparker, the Regia Glitter, I think. I've used it before in a project and I haven't decided if I'm going to do a pattern. I wrote up a pattern, but I might just do Vanilla Sock. <laughs> I kind of feel like that would be really pretty with those colors, mm -hmm. even though it's just white for the actual. So the leg. leg and then the heel will be in lollipop and the toe will be in lollipop. I think it'd be so. really pretty as vanilla, but I mean, then it's also a white yarn. So it'd be yeah. like, oh, a pattern would be really pretty. Yeah. Too. That's what I thought. A pattern might show up well with it, but yeah, so. it's just a lollipop yarn. I'm like, oh, oh that can so just pretty. be your top of something instead of a pattern. Yeah. Yeah. And this... I'm probably going to knit mine in vanilla. Oh, that. okay. But yeah. I mean, I'll be able to knit an actual pair of socks mm -hmm. with 50 grams. Mm -hmm. so. Mm -hmm. so this is my, in my stolen minutes bag. It's very pretty. So those are my sock whips right now. I don't have, okay, I have sock whips. Because you haven't worked I on I haven't worked on socks. <laughs> I don't want to work on socks. I'll talk about this one first, though, because this one I've showed a couple times. But this is just in this bag. I forget who it's by, who made it, but... It's my... It's kids. something decor. It's in our list of bag makers that we keep in the description box. I always forget to check before mm -hmm. I show it. But this is my Campfire Cozy by Sostrico. And I did not work on it much. I did like four rows. So I'm not really going to talk about it much. But it's I'm just in the garter section after the huge lace panel. So I'm also probably not going to show it until I get to the stockinette part. But it is... And Lions brand Woolies in the Rose Heather colorway. So, lace section's done. I'm in the second garter panel of it. 
So, and you do this for 46 rows. Mm -hmm. So, that's why I said I'm probably not going to show it because it's going to take me a while to get through that. Well, since you did show it and we talked about it briefly, um, we're thinking about doing a, another knit along. And she's working on this shawl and wants to cast on another shawl. It's a brioche shawl by the Blue Mouse. It's um, Snowy Pines shawl. Oh, okay. It's, it's really pretty. <laughs> and um, and I, on my Make 9, I put the Noah shawl pattern by Nitty McPurley. And so I want to kind of want to cast that one on. So we were talking about maybe doing a shawl cow. Um, start it, you know, we seem last year we did our cows like seasonal. So we started on the first day of spring and then end it on the last day of spring. Like, and so if you're interested in knitting a shawl, any shawl, it doesn't have to be either of the ones we're knitting. Um, leave a comment below and let us know. Um, and then we can host that and we'll, we'll discuss, you know, prizes and stuff later. But we'd like to do another knit along if you guys are up for it. Maybe I'll actually do it this year. <laughs> it, on my, it was on my Make 9 last year, and I bought yarn for it last year. Mm. I'd never knit it. And then I put it on my Make 9 again. One of my Make 9s. I think it's my first one. Oh, uh, okay. I think it's on the first Make 9. Oh, okay. Yeah, because you have three? I have three. Mm -hmm. One's just socks, and one's a bunch of, not random stuff, but like a little bit more random or like repeat patterns. So. Gotcha. Yeah. <laughs> Or, like, just trying to use my stash. Uh -huh. I'm just grabbing this. Okay. So, um, speaking of my Make 9, actually, Thomas's socks were on my Gift Make 9. So, I have two Make 9s. Gift Make 9 and a Make 9 for myself. This is um, from, from me. And this is in another Mountain State Stitches bag. It's a Christmas bag, but I don't know. It's winter colors and it has a snowman on it. I don't know. I think it's cute. <laughs> so, I showed this last um, episode. And I was here, or about there, and that's how much I've knit so far. Now, I haven't spent a lot of time on this. It actually knits up really quick. And um, and it's really, I could whip out the second mitten in probably a day or two if I really, you know, focused on it. Um, so, and it fits well. It's a little roomy this way, but that's okay. Um, but I think it looks nice now. What I had to do up here didn't quite match the pattern, and I don't, it was probably me and not the pattern, although I took really good notes the whole time I was knitting, so I don't know. It is a free pattern, and it is easy to follow. Um, but, but anyway, so there's that. I think it looks good. And I haven't done the thumb yet. Uh, I'm still waiting. I am considering not closing up the thumb, like knitting it towards the tip of my thumb or maybe even over the tip of my thumb with some ribbing and then fold it down a little bit. That way my thumbs could be free if I should need to use my phone while I'm outside um, wearing mittens. <laughs> <laughs> um, but it would be easier than having to, you know, it would keep my hand warmer than having to take my mitten off to use my phone. Anyway, so I'm considering that. Um, so I'm going to knit the other mitten first, leave the thumbs for last, and make a final decision before I knit them. And this yarn is Candy Shop Yarns, the Liquid Candy Mystery Confection on the Tweed DK. And it looks like this in the cake. It's so pretty. And it's very soft. I love it. Mm. Oh, I didn't tell you what the pattern was. <laughs> the pattern is the Chelsea Mittens. It's a free pattern on Ravelry. I don't know if it's available anywhere else. Um, and I am using US 6 needles, which are four millimeter, right? Yeah, four millimeter needles. So there's that one. <laughs> My other one, I've already showed this, but I had to frog it and restart it. Yeah, she ripped so it out. So this is the Fisherman's Rib cardigan, and it's like has a number to the name of it. You it's found on it on webs. webs. Yeah. So it'll be in the description box. But Except you're like totally changing it, aren't you? Yes. <laughs> I'm still, okay, I'm still crossing it off my make nine when I finish it, okay? Because I'm well, going to use all the, the numbers. numbers. Yeah. So, but I am going to change it. I'm going to do a broken rib mm -hmm. instead of the fisherman's rib mm -hmm. because I was doing it and 
So I recasted it on. So I'm still back to where I was, basically. I think I have a couple more rounds, and then I'm back to where I was. But I cast it on for the size above what I did it last time. It was originally time. a 40 inch, and now you're at a 44 inch, right? Yeah, and it still looks short, though. But it's bigger. So, I mean, like, there you go. Mm -hmm. But so I recasted it on, and I'm back to where I was. And I am going to do broken rib instead of the fisherman's rib. Because I feel like it was pulling it in tighter, too, and it's not going to fit right. Like, I don't know. I think, it, I, even though I did the gauge. Yeah. So I don't know what's going on. Well, and um, you've mentioned this before, but you didn't mention it now. You are knitting it for your male cousin, yes. and he lives in Alabama. So he's not local. She can't take his measurements. or I, He could take them and send them to you. But He did. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, but I he have can't try it on or anything. Yeah, but I mean, like, I can try it on. Mm -hmm. Because, I mean, like... He's he's not like a small guy. He's a little bit taller than me, but he's skinny. So it's like I can try it on and try to gauge it, but it's still not like, hey, try this on, make sure it's good, make sure you like it or anything like that. So it's kind of difficult. And I think the broken rib is more of the look than, he, than the fisherman rib that he wanted. So I'm going to do that. I don't think he'll mind. <laughs> He probably I mean, won't. I mean, I don't think you're, you're, you're knitting him a hand sweater. Yeah. So, oh, I didn't even say the color. But the color that I'm on right now is this color. It's Wool of the Andes. Permissive? Per <laughs> I couldn't even say that. Right. Persimmon, Persimmon Heather. There you go. I was like, what? And then the other color is because it's going to be striped. This one's Marina. And Almond are the colors. And it's going to be like. Oh, I thought there specific. was another one. Nope, that's it. Oh. There's three colors. Oh. Wait, I don't know why I thought good. there was a fourth. Oh, okay. <laughs> so, I mean, I have to, like, kind of go with the stripes, like, follow a picture of stripes that he liked in a different sweater and try to make that line up with mm -hmm. the cardigan because it's a sweater pattern, mm -hmm. like a closed sweater. And so I'm changing it to a cardigan. So, it's like a lot of tweaking this pattern. So, I mean, no matter what, the pattern wasn't going to... Like, my yeah. sweater was not going to look like the pattern at all. Yeah. So, mm -hmm. it's okay. But this is in my needle craft bag. Right? Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so. And all the yarn fits in here. So, I have yeah, like... Matter. 12 balls of yarn. <laughs> and, I mean, they're 50 gram balls. Yeah. So, because mm -hmm. little dandies from Knit Picks. But, yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. And... This is my last knitting whip, and I still didn't look up the name of this sweater. Oh my goodness. Seaside something, right? Or Shoreline. Shoreline. Something Seaside. like that. It's by Marie Green, Olive, I think it's Olive Knits, um, <laughs> out of her books of Cozy Sweater in Two Weeks, or she's got a lot of sweater patterns, and she talks about how you can knit them in two weeks. It's taken me a lot longer than two weeks to knit this sweater, but that's because I'm not focused on it. I mean, it. you could knit a worsted weight yeah. sweater in two weeks. Yeah, I just haven't so, focused on yeah. it, obviously. Okay, so here it is. It's not currently on the needles. Uh, the last time I showed it, this is the back of the cardigan, and the last time I showed it, I was right here where the snowman is hanging, and you saw the hole that was there for this pleat. I have since sewn the pleat, and didn't like the directions for the pleat because I'm not, I don't sew. So I'm not familiar with how to sew pleats. So I had to go looking for tutorials on how to sew pleats. And of course it's a little bit different with knitted material than, you know, a cotton or something. But anyway, I think I did an okay job. I'm, I'm not going to complain. And then I knit the ribbing and bound off. So... Here's my dilemma. <laughs> my face is just a blur. I'm totally blown up. Yeah, there we go. Sorry about that. <laughs> um, so I ended up knitting the bottom ribbing about a half an inch longer than the pattern called for. And I knit the body about an inch longer than the pattern called for. And I'm still worried that it might be a little too short for my liking. Because the wool's not super wash. Um, it's not going to grow a whole lot, but I mean, I have tried it on and it's an, it's an okay length, but I would have preferred like another two inches on it. Um, 
but my yarn I went according to, uh, when I looked at the patterns amount a uh, pattern amount I had about a hundred yards more than the pattern called for so with worsted weight I mean that's not a bunch more that's like half a ball generally. yeah and um so I couldn't I couldn't make the body too long. I still needed to have enough yarn for the sleeves and the um, button band. It's not actually a button band, but because um, it doesn't have buttons, but I forget what it's called. <laughs> um, but anyway, so that's what I'm going to do next. I'm going to pick up for the the band, and I'm going to knit that. It's I think the pattern calls for three inches, and I will knit that three inches, and then I will just split my yarn in half. And hope that I have enough for full sleeves, because I would prefer to have full sleeves. But if I don't, then they'll just be three-quarter length or whatever. And I still think I'll get a lot of wear out of this cardigan. It's just, I wish I had an extra ball of yarn. And it's not easy to find. I guess they discontinued it. Um, so I decided not to, like, you know... I found some on eBay and then it wasn't there and uh, <laughs> I don't know. So I decided just to knit the cardigan with what I had and call it good. And this, oh, I didn't tell you what needles I'm using. I did get gauge. I did uh, two different gauge swatches and I got gauge with US 7, which is a 4.5 millimeter. I had to take my glasses off. <laughs> I'll be 45 this year. <laughs> My eyes are changing. <laughs> um, oh, and that is in my Fat Girl sewing bag and my black cat bag. Reminds me of my cat. So. <laughs> All right. Okay. I only have one more thing, but this is what I've mainly worked on. So, and it is my, hold on. My sleeve's twisted in the yarn. Anyway, so it's my bright feather. So I started this like maybe March or April last year. Something like that. Yeah. <laughs> it was a while ago. But anyway, so I already had all that done and then that's where I was. So the little stitch marker. So I started doing the body, finished the one ball I was on and then knit both the sleeves. I was so, going to say the sleeves weren't done at all. The no, last time no, you no. It. The mm -hmm. sleeves were done. So I finished the ball I was on, did the sleeves. I didn't do the decreases. I just did a little rapid decrease and then I didn't do the color work either. Oh, the pattern called for color work at the sleeves? Oh, that's right, because oh. it didn't. there wasn't a cuff at the end, Yeah, right? there was no cuff. It was supposed to be a rolled hem, mm -hmm. but, like, I wish I did ribbing at the top, Stein too. It's a Jennifer Stein pattern, right? Yeah, mm -hmm. I, I don't know. The rolled look isn't my thing. Mm -hmm. Like, I like the little bubble sleeve with ribbing. So, it's just one by one rib, and I went down to a size four. So, I knit it on a five, US five, went down to a four for the sleeve, did two rows of decreases, here and then did the ribbing and I did the ribbing for 14 rows so I did that on both sides so I just knit it straight rapid decreased for two rows and then ribbing and then I'm like an inch away from the bottom ribbing now it's rolling but yeah so I had a dilemma last night though I would have had that inch done before the ribbing but I went to try it on and I pulled my stitch holder accidentally somehow ripped out like half the stitches that were on it so like a quarter of the stitches on the whole sweater mm. it was so much and then I was like picking them up real quick and then I was looking at it because I mean I dropped some because you have to pull the needle through a little bit so you lose yeah. stitches so you lost stitches that. off the, the cord and then some of them dropped up like, yeah like yeah. it only dropped like four rows at mm. the most but, so I had to do that, and then also yesterday I saw that I had, like, slipped a stitch accidentally, like, 30 rows down. So I sat there, dropped the stitch, got down there, I was like, this is the wrong stitch. So I had to redo it, and then go over, and then drop the stitch. <laughs> and then the whole dilemma later. So, I mean, that's where I was last night when I stopped. So I just need to knit an inch, maybe even an inch and a half. And then the ribbing. Oh, did you put that marker there? To, yeah, just to... so I don't have to try it on again. Oh, okay. Because I know, like, I was going based off the shirt I was wearing yesterday, and mm -hmm. it's like one of my favorite shirts, yeah. especially with the length. Mm -hmm. So I just went that based off nice that shirt. That is a nice length on you. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Most of the shirts that I got today are like that oh, length. Oh, that's good. <laughs> yeah, she went shopping early. <laughs> I went shopping, but I also sold a bunch of stuff, She too, went to Plato's so. closet. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So. But anyways, this sweater... 
It was a pain in the butt last night. And then I was like sitting there trying to do it. Paisley was awake, trying to get my yarn. It was a mess. She's mad because she wanted to be with me, but she couldn't be. But anyways, so the yarn is... I don't even know if I have a tag, actually. You don't have any tags in there? I don't think so. Not in your little Hold thing. on. Yes, I do. Okay, it's Socks Yeah by Coop's Knit in Aventurine color. Adventurine. Adventurine. Mm -hmm. And then the brown up top, because I haven't actually talked about it in a while, is um, Noble Character Craft in the Wilderness colorway, I think. If that's wrong, it'll be in the book. Do you have a ball of that in there? No. You no, took it out. I took the brown out. But so this is a green. And mm -hmm. I have a little bit more than one and a half skeins left. So, I mean, I have plenty to knit the body however long I want. Mm -hmm. So that's why I'm like, I might go to an inch and a half mm -hmm. and then do an inch and a half. I always curving. think it's better to go a little longer than a little short. Yeah. I mean, that's, I just, mean, it's that's a, just my preference. It's all super washed, so it's going to grow a little bit. So yeah. the sleeves are like, fit me like this sleeve, so it's at my wrist. And pulled my nail a little bit. But, so I like my sleeves to be a little bit longer. So I knit it this length, so it wasn't too long either. Yeah. So, I just need to knit it real quick. But I worked on I just think... this for like the past two weeks. Yeah. This is all I've worked on well, pretty much. Well, I think much. when we got done recording, you worked on the, um... The shawl. The for shawl. Like that day. Yeah, for that day. And then I was like, I need a cast. I ripped out his, the cardigan. Mm -hmm. I was like, it sat there. I was like. I need to cast that on. Mm -hmm. So then I cast it on and did the ago. ribbing. Mm -hmm. And then I was like, nope. I want to have this done by the end of February. So tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think you will. Because then I have one sweater for both months so far. Even though this isn't on any of my make nines. You have to have so. goals. I mean, <laughs> you know. They, they I decided that like, what, two days for. ago? <laughs> or was it yesterday? Yeah. <laughs> Might have been yesterday. But yeah, so... <laughs> It'll be done. Oh, yeah, totally. Oh, yeah, if I totally. totally. She'll probably be wearing it in the next episode. <laughs> um, all right, so I have one last um, whip. It is cross-stitch. And so on February 14th, I decided to start a new cross-stitch project. And it is Perfect Posy. It is the designer's name is Leslie Tear. I hope that's right. T E A R E, and it is out of Cross Stitcher Magazine, issue two ninety, April twenty fifteen. It's an old one. <laughs> <laughs> I've had it for a while. <laughs> so, um, but it's been on my list. And then you know, if you've been watching for a while, you know that I stopped cross stitching for like four years or something <laughs> and um started back up during lockdown last april or may last april or may yeah. so anyway fell back in love with it so i'm going to keep doing it now but anyway that's what it's supposed to look like when it's done and i am using all the called for dmc here they are such pretty spring colors and except this yellow so this yellow is 727 the pattern called for 745 I had 740 a uh, 727 in my stash my DMC stash so and I looked it up online to see if it was could be considered a, a substitute for it and it did say it could and I thought it still looked nice with the rest of the colors so I decided to use it because I think I had two full skeins of it. So use what you got. <laughs> and I don't work on it every day, but I have, I have worked on it. I'd say I've probably worked on it maybe five or six hours in the last two weeks. <laughs> so that's what I have so far. Not a bunch, but it's coming along. I'm getting excited. My daughter, Mary Rose, said, Mom. There's yellow in the picture, and you don't have any yellow. And I, I said, I haven't used yellow yet, Mary Rose. And um, there's lots of colors I haven't used yet. But anyway, so here it is. <laughs> and so that's it. 
That's all the widths. Is there anything else I need to say about that? Yes, I will <laughs> tell you what fabric I'm using. This is 28 count white even weave. Um, the Zweigart Artiste brand that you can get at Hobby Lobby. And that's that. So, do you have any purchases? I do. I bought one thing, sorry. I bought one thing, but it is in the room right now. With Mason. And Mason is taking it up. So, yeah. I'll have to show it next time. But it's Willow Cottage yarn on Etsy. And I bought the Deku colorway for Holden. It's an anime character that we watched. and I think you talked about it briefly mm -hmm. last time. Yeah, because oh, it was supposed to be first. coming. Yeah, yeah. and so, you showed the first hat you cast yeah, on for him started and decided to rip it out. Yeah, because I started that with my Lolo bean. Haggard mm -hmm. yarn. Yep. And then he said the pink was a little too much, so I ripped that out, bought him a new yarn. It is so pretty. It's it a BFL pretty. yarn. It is so pretty. <laughs> like, I'm jealous of this yarn. It looks like Christmas, but, like, me and him know what it is, so it's like, whatever. Mm -hmm. But it does look very Christmassy. It least, is, but it's not. Green, white, yeah. and red. Uh-huh. So. Yeah. He likes it. And it was really cool, because sometimes when you get a yarn... Like a hand dyed yarn, the reds break apart and turn to pink. And this one really didn't. Like, I mean, I'll, some people can get it really good. It seems like they can get the reds not to break like that. So I was really excited yeah, about know. that because I was worried that it was going to break into the pinks. It's like a like a science. Yeah. You know, dyeing yarn and how the color, the dye colors break or yeah. don't break or bleed. And that might have to do with the temperature yeah. of the water. Or I was just I worried know. about it because he was like, I don't want the pink in it. And I was like, oh, what if it breaks and has pinks in it and stuff? And I was like, ah, okay, we'll get it. We'll see. He said, just order it. I was like, okay. <laughs> so. <laughs> so I didn't purchase um, a lot either. I Well, I had my um, color and cotton thread color of the month, January, came in. So, oh, so I will show you the, those. I get the three colors. You could get a three color or a five color. So this is nickel. This is a limited edition color. It's very pretty. And then this is old lace. So. And then I also ordered from Color and Cotton three stains of pearl for a project that I'm going to start soon. Um, there they are. They're pretty. They're like, I don't know, bluey gray white. Yeah. It's like a really, really light bluish <laughs> grayish color. It's, it's tonal. I don't, that's probably not showing up on the camera, but it is tonal. Um, for this project, I'll show you a little Winter Chalkboard by Kathy Haberman. So, and I will be in no rush to finish this. I just thought it would be fun since it's a lot of words and little tiny pictures. I thought, um, I thought I might do a word a week or a word and a picture a week or, you know, something like that. And then my next winter, <laughs> not this winter, next winter it'll be finished. Because this was one of the first patterns that I purchased last spring when I got back into cross stitching. So it's about time I got it started <laughs> and made some progress on it. But that's it. That's all we have. Yep. So it's a short one. Um, even though I feel like, you know, we had a little, you know, a little bit to talk about. But... Yeah. I mean, I've just been wanting to work on one project at a time, so. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But um, I wanted to work on multiple projects, <laughs> obviously. Who knows? I might want to work on more. Next time, but mm -hmm. I don't know. I just want to finish stuff. <laughs> I have, yeah, I have plans to start that cross stitch. And then I have plans to cast on two more knitting projects. I decided I'm not casting on anything until I finish something. <laughs> <laughs> well, I feel like those mittens are going to be off the needle soon, so... I can do that. I just want to cast on sweaters. <laughs> Even though it's getting, it's starting to get warmer. Well, isn't it supposed to get cold again later this week? Yeah, that's Not what this week, said. like next week. Mm -hmm. <laughs> then, well, I think last week they said we might get more snow, but then we didn't. It yeah. stayed warm. It was nice. Um, and it's sunny, except for today. But sun looks like it's trying to peek through a little <laughs> bit right now. But, um, so, 
Um, like I had mentioned earlier, we're thinking about <laughs> Daphne needs a nap. We're thinking about um, hosting a shawl knit along. Um, and I mean, or you could crochet a shawl. Like I don't. Do you? <laughs> okay, okay, yeah. I mean, you could crochet a shawl if you wanted to. And uh, we all are all multi craftual around <laughs> craft. <laughs> I, I think the only thing we wouldn't do is like sewing, right? Yeah, just knitting just, our crochet. Yeah. yeah, and um, or you can like weave a shawl. Can you weave a shawl? I don't know. I don't. I don't know if you can. Or I don't not. know. I don't weave. <laughs> <laughs> but like, if it's like yarn. with yarn, yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. okay. yeah. <laughs> um, but anyway, so let us know if you are interested in joining us um, this spring, and um in the comments and that'll we'll host that the same way we have in the past we will it'll we'll have a finished objects um thread in the facebook group and a of course we'll have a hashtag on instagram and for those of you that are in our facebook group thank you so much for sticking around there's not a whole lot of activity in there but we do appreciate you there Neither of us really use Facebook. Yeah. But we okay. wanted it to like be another Have a, option. Another option so. for people that don't use Instagram. Yeah. Um, and actually, I'm thinking about maybe getting the Facebook app on my Kindle if I can do that. And then that way I can <laughs> pop in there a little bit more, you know, instead of, you know, actually having to, because I don't have the app on my phone or anything. <laughs> but anyway, so let us know if you want to join us for the Shaw um, Make Along. In this, this spring in the comments below and we will see you in two weeks yep. all right bye, bye.